want to do something a little bit different tonight. And before I even read the scripture, there's a young sister, a new convert, praise God, one who God has truly been working on. The church rejoiced just a few weeks ago when she decided to get baptized. And one of the reasons why we were rejoicing so much, I'm going to be having a co-preacher tonight, praise God. I won't be preaching by myself, praise God. So I'm going to be using at least 10 minutes out of my time, my preaching time, and give to my co-preacher. Come on, man, give God praise. Praise God, praise God. Praise God. Um, <laughs> I just want to greet you all in the mighty name of Jesus. You know, I am truly grateful to be a part of this gathering tonight. Um, just to start, I am coming from a very dark place. You know, a very, very dark place. You know, I am, I was what you guys would describe as an atheist. That is somebody that was somebody that doesn't believe in God, you know what I mean? The concept of God just didn't make any sense to me. I didn't yes. believe in God. And you know, I went because it just didn't make any sense and I couldn't find the answers. I went for the answers myself. And you know, what I found, the, the things that I found, the knowledge that I gained, instead of answering the questions that I had, it plunged me into darkness, you know. I went, down, I, I, I was just in a dark place. I was on earth, but I wasn't here. Right. And you know, um, my brother is a member of the Restoration Center. You know, he would, he, he's always trying to convince me that, you know, I'll be here wrong. And whenever he tries to do that, I will just curse God and say, You're foolish, you're stupid, you're bad, you're dead, you know. And the arguments would always end with leaving you all over, all of me, all of me, all of us. Yeah. So, you know, um, what God, God had a plan. Standing where I am now, I see that God had a plan, you know. When I was in darkness, I, I couldn't turn to anybody because nobody, most people, even though they weren't Christians, they didn't believe in what I believe. They believe in God, so I couldn't turn to them, you know. So I was alone. And, you know, God, God had to do something, you know. God had to give me a wake-up call, so... You know, saying, can I get justice? When you want to get justice? So he took someone from me. You know, someone that I really, 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 really loved. You know, someone that taught me a lot. It hurt me so much, but I see now why he had to take him because it opened up my eyes because I thought that he was here, right? And he died. What happened to his soul? Where, 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 does, where did he go after that? So, you know, that opened up my eyes. So I started thinking, if I was to die today, what would happen to me? So, you know, I got a wake-up call and I started to go to the church that my brother was going. And, you know, there was just something about the atmosphere that from the first day I walked in, it just captivated me. And even though I, I didn't believe, you know, I kept on going for some reason, you know, I couldn't escape that. I had to go. I, I just kept on going. And I remember um, one day the pastor, my pastor, um, he, he, he saw me and he told me that, you know, more and more reason for, for, for the old issue because he knows my situation. You know, I was in his office and reason and reason. I had about 10 questions and God was truly working because even without me asking some of the questions, he already gave me the answer. You know, and for, for him, I am truly grateful for what he did because these are questions that, you know, they, I had, I've had them for years and to meet somebody that could give me the answers, you know, I am truly grateful for that. You know, I ended up getting baptized. Um, I was just tired of fighting the sensation that I was feeling when I was in the house of God. So, you know, I decided to, you know, just, just give in to it, just give in. I told God that, God, I'm coming to you. I, do, I don't have everything figured out as yet. But I'm giving myself over to you. Just leave me the way that you want me to go. Yeah. Just re remake me, remold me. Oh. And you know, the, the Sunday I decided to give my life over to God, and God had His way, and I was filled with the Holy Ghost yeah. in the night service. Yeah. Yes, yes. I, I was surprised. 
Because I, I didn't have that. That wasn't a plan, you know. I was just going to church and something said that I applies to me. Yes, and I did it and I got filled. And I am truly grateful because, you know, to see that he loved me so much, even when I cursed him, you know. He had so much love for me and he still cared. And that, that is something that you don't find, you know. Normal people don't do that. You curse them, they turn them back. Yeah. And he loved me that that's much too. He loved me that much too to, to free me from bondage, even when I turned my back and I hardened my heart against him. And believe me, I was a party girl. I was a party girl. I love music. I love dancing. And you know, I could be in church. And when I sing and I dance on the Sunday, on Sundays and Holy Ghost still go, I mean, yes. nothing is sweeter oh. than that. Nothing is sweeter yes. than that. Yes. Yes. And I'm telling you, if you have every party and nobody can upstage me when I go to the party, it's going to take the floor. I mean, I tell you, they're dancing in a sweet life when they have dance at church. You guys, me. And I decided that I am not going back. When you look at things of the world, they're just mere pleasures and they're temporary, you know. So don't let don't let the things of the world hold you captive, you know. Just learn to trust God, turn to God. You know, he has an answer for everything. I've been living in depression for years, for years. And the moment, that Sunday when I got filled, I am telling you, God has been my psychologist. I have, I, I no longer have depression, you know, I don't even worry about stuff anymore. We just want to serve God. We just want to stay with me. I just want to be in His presence. And I am young, so being young is not an excuse, you know. Give your life to God, believe me. Once you give Jesus a chance in your life, your life will never be the same. It cannot be the same. It cannot be the same. Thank you. Somebody give God praise. From a poor preacher. Say God, you turn a mess into a message. Now the messenger arrive. Committed to the journey, so me now go backslide. Looking through the spirit and a physical eyes. Who to God me testify? Know me at the work.